This is Thunderbolt Shelter that the CCC built, again in the 30s, as a warming hut for skiers. They made a ski course here. And it said back in the 30s, there were no lifts apparently, or at least not here. So you had to carry your equipment two hours uphill just for a two minute run down. <laughs> this is not for camping, emergency use only. Good morning. It is a town day today. We've got just 6.8, I think, into Williamstown. Do resupply, stay there for the night. Yesterday's coffee was still on and warm enough. So I got a little bit of caffeine before I started. Once it stopped raining yesterday by mid-morning, it hadn't rained at all after that. So I'm hoping that some of this excess water has drained off the trail today. We shall see. Kowalski yesterday was sitting on a rock ledge up there by the light tower and I heard a visitor ask if he was a through hiker and he said you know how I knew you have your shoes and socks off he was just relaxing there drying his feet out and then I heard that same guy tell one of his friends the same story and you know what they don't understand is haha very funny but with all this water all these past days, the threat of trench foot is real. <laughs> it's um, a little scary and a little serious because we rely on our feet every day to carry us. And um, I haven't shown y'all the bottoms of my feet yet, but uh, I have talked about pruning the other day. And that's a serious deal. By the end of the day, our feet are white little sad prunes of their former selves. And so we have to keep them as dry as possible. I just saw a bobcat, I believe, or a large orange house cat, but what are the chances of that being up here? As I came over this little rocky thing, he ran right down there and to the left into the forest. Cool. I cannot tell you how nice it is to have the sun out and shining after so many days without it. It's supposed to be sunny today and fingers crossed, I think, tomorrow too. This is Mount Prospect Ledge and you can see down to Williamstown down there. Isn't it beautiful? You can see a little bit at least. So almost there, three miles to go. It's all downhill from here. Okay, I've got a little conundrum here. There's a muddy, muddy crossing to the other side. There is a bridge, but somehow it's swept over there. <laughs> Not where it needs to be. And it looks like that could work to step across. However, there's poison ivy over there. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. I was resourceful. I got that big stone from over there, tossed it perfectly right in the middle of that mud patch, miraculously did not splatter mud all over myself, and now hopefully I can get away with minimal mud. Success! That worked out really well. You're welcome everyone who comes behind me. Another cute tidy neighborhood we got a road walk through. Just talked to a local and he commented on how it's not raining for once and I said uh, yeah I guess that is why everyone's out mowing their lawn and stuff it smells deliciously like grass we got uh, I don't know a quarter of a mile till up here where we have to go west to get to Williamstown I think what I'm gonna do is go to the grocery store shop first then hit the hotel Wilson's going for a little ride. Should have put him up in the kitty cart. <laughs> Resupply first, and this is very exciting. This is my favorite cereal in the whole world, and I've never seen it in single serve portions. Yay! They also have my favorite crackers. These things freak me out. Yeah, I'm talking about you. The hotel will pick me up, but I gotta wait a little while, so I'm just gonna have some lunch here. 
We're staying at the Willows Hotel. Motel, I guess. We're in room number four. Let's go see what we're in for. All right. Reviews were, it was a clean place. It looks okay. Today was a typical Nero day, although I didn't film too much. I did laundry, but it's one of the facilities where they'll do it for you, but only at their convenience. So that's always a little frustrating. Got pizza at the Greek restaurant next door. It was delicious. Also frustrating, Wi-Fi here does not really reach my room, so I can't get too much video work done. And it's been beautifully sunny all day, which just makes me a little sad that I had planned to sit inside in a hotel room. I mean, I could sit outside, but it's a busy, loud street. Kind of wish I had been hiking today, but what are you going to do? Anyway, tomorrow's another day. We're going to get a nice early start, hit the road. So y'all have a good night and we'll see you in the morning.